Growing up, we didn't go to church. Church wasn't a big part of what we did. I really didn't know anything about church. When you don't, we're not introduced to it and you don't know what it's all about, you hear about God, you hear about things that people do going to church, but I'd never stepped foot in that building, so I didn't know what it was about. So my wife's been a Christian her whole life, and when we married, I was not a Christian. I had dabbled in it a couple times over the years. We've been married 16 years now, and we dabbled in different churches from time to time, but I was faking it. Right? I was doing it on behalf of my wife, and it wasn't for me. As we got older and started having kids, I realized that faith is something that I, I needed to investigate. Well, a friend of mine invited me to church. So the first visit back to church was exciting. We hadn't been in a while, and um, I was at a point in my life where I wanted that for my kids, right, and, and also for myself, but I still wasn't 100% committed. So a couple of things that were interesting when we came back was the friendliness, right? We found it, finally found a church that when we walked in the doors, everybody was extremely friendly and welcoming and making them feel like part of the family, and that's been a, a huge blessing for us. That's when I knew it was time for me to, to step forward and, and become a Christian. When I told them the family, right, we had several conversations about me wanting to become a Christian, and my boys were very much part of those conversations. We scheduled a meeting with our pastor, we met at a Starbucks, and we all sat down and we talked about the things that are important in life, right? School, family, sports, uh, but the decision to become a Christian is this is the single most important decision that they'd ever make in their lives. You know, I wanted to make it very, very clear and with the kids and with the pastor that my decision to become a Christian is my decision. You know, I don't want you to do it because dad's doing it, I want you to do it for yourself. You know, pastor asked the kids, is this something that you want to do? Do you want to accept Christ? And they were 100% in. What was, I think, the coolest thing that ever happened about this was uh, my decision to be baptized was solely for me, but my kids stepped forward and said that they also wanted to be baptized. And for me, that was the coolest thing about becoming a Christian is that my boys wanted to follow suit. What that means for me emotionally, that my sons are now believers in Christ, is that they now have eternal life, and that's what else could you ask for as a father? Yeah, so what this does for my family is changes everything, right? Everything in our daily thoughts, our daily actions, it changes everything. I've been, I've been a different person since. Everything that I do, I wake up and I pray. And through a day, if I'm driving to my car, I pray. And I have a, a much more strong relationship with God than I ever had in my life. And, and so what that's gonna do for my family is it's gonna, it's gonna open up the conversations to really getting my boys and my wife and my daughter to really understand what Christianity is all about. One of the things I want to implement in my family is just, you know, faith, right? I mean, we don't, I grew up in a home where going to church and prayer and all those things were just not important. We didn't do those things, right? And so one of the things I want to make sure that as a father I'm providing for my kids is that forum to be comfortable praying, right? to be comfortable going to church, to be comfortable talking about God. You know, some people are, get very uh, weird about talking about God. I don't want my kids to be that way. I want them to feel very comfortable that they can talk about that and stand up in front of anybody and say, I am a Christian. So one of the things is a legacy I'm trying to pass on to my kids is the whole concept of giving, right? Not be so concerned with what we take in life, but what we give. So one of the things that God's blessed me with is the ability to play basketball. I played on a scholarship, and one of the things that I want to do now, I want to use our church as the forum to get kids into the church and play basketball and, and teach them about Christ. 